<clears throat> That's nice and wet. My arm is wet. Yeah, well. That's not really in the center, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think I might let that dry for a bit. You can know, see the. You want know, a closer look? There you go. Look at that. <laughs> it's nice and wet, that's for sure. Mulberry, I guess. I think I'm going to go do some things. Come back and get to it a little bit later today. Let that dry off a bit. Let the air conditioner run and get rid of the humidity in here. Because it's really humid now after all this. That's nice and wet. <laughs> you see that? Hee <laughs> that's kind of cool. I'm going to start turning wet wood. Can't put any resin in wet wood though. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Isn't that really cool? It slid. Hopefully I can get that sanded off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, after sanding this and sanding this, I think I've finally gotten all but a little bit of this tear out. It's wet. I've never done wet. It's really weird. <laughs> it's, it's really yellow. So I'm going to put another coat of sanding sealer on it, hit it with a scuffy pad, and then, um, yeah, I don't know, a abrasive paste, and, and probably the restoring polish, and I'm not sure on the shine juice or not. We'll see what it looks like. Really cool. Now, if you guys can see that. Let's get you over here. And maybe you can see it over there. Pretty cool. I don't really think this one needs to be shiny. So we're going to go with the, uh, the restoring paste. And then I'm probably just going to turn it around. Oops, I might have used too much. <laughs> Ooh. 
And I think I'm good with that. Flip it over. Yeah. Like that. Think it'll fit in there? Think y'all won't be in the way there? Yeah, you think it'll stay on there? 2nd <laughs> okay so the I'm assuming this is really wet because <laughs> I don't normally get curls like that on and on, on what I turn but anyways uh, I'm gonna start with like 80 grit and see if I can knock a lot of this off because it's just like it's high it's low it's high with the grain so see if I can knock that off of there and I'll work my way back to about 320 before I seal it up and we'll make you watch a little bit of it but not too much but So I'm gonna do some more. We'll go the other way, see if I can get that to fold off. If not, I'll hit it with sandy sealer. And when we get there, we get there. A couple spots that I can't get to go away here. Where the grain turns around and goes the other way. So, I'll try to make them go away. Right there and right there. Okay, well, I have to work on that some more. <laughs> but, yep, you get the idea. So I'll be back uh, when we get to the, you know, the, the other stuff. Oh, not too bad. A little bit of tear out still. I'm hoping that the abrasive paste will take that off, which it should. It doesn't look really bad. Oh. I'm surprised that stayed as straight as it is, being it was wet. <laughs> All right, let me seal this up again, and we'll go from there. And again, there we go. We got that. Uh, I'll put links for this in the description. I like this. I cut this with denatured alcohol, I believe. Uh, I think I got like a 50-50 cut on it right now. It's probably wrong, but that's what I have on it. And I ran out of the first one. I put 
half in, I weighed them out, put half in the other jug or in this jug from the new jug, and then filled them up with denatured alcohol after that, just to cut them. I'd ordered two when I ordered them. So I, and, and I'll put those links, like I said, in the description. Uh, it's actually, it's really weird turning wet wood. Now I'm going to go find some stuff, cut it down and turn it, because I want to see how it goes. <laughs> I, want, I want some of those wonky crooked bowls, you know. The only difference with it is, is I can't put any resin on it when they're wet, because resin does not like moisture. We'll let that dry, uh, and I'll be back when we put down the erase the paste in that. Alright, so um, at some point I scratched the back here, so I'm going to do a little bit right around the edge. Get that fixed up and... We'll get the abrasive paste on, Axe Abrasive Paste, that's also in the description below. There's a link for that there, there, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get this going on here. Alright, start off 200, 250, something like that. I'll work my way up to 1,020. Get the restoring paste and polish and good stuff on there. Some axe also. Now, 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 let go. The restoring polish. Paste restoring, yeah. Polish restoring paste. <laughs> Alrighty. So I think we'll uh, drag this over there. Oh, over there. Oh, yeah. And, and talk about it. There ain't really a whole lot to talk about. It's a yellow bowl. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to have more to my video than what, what what I got going to my video right now. But I think I'm going to leave him out of this week because I had this challenge I had to um, accept because, you know, I'm not scared. So anyways, that would be all this. So Kim, there you are. I did it. Jake and JP are next, but... I don't know how you can stand to have this crap in your shoes. Ugh. Look at, look at. Oh, I didn't get that much in mine, but. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> can you get my shoe back on? It's full of sawdust. Ugh. My baby soft feet don't ever see stuff like that. And then you got my little scrawny chicken legs. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I weren't scared. I think the beard's going to do it too, aren't you, beard? Come on, Richard. I know you aren't scared. You're crazy. You're just unicorn crazy. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, let's get over there. Thank you, Yappy. Uh, this one's out of South Africa. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? But I already sent him stickers. I, I think he's got uh, Instagram and all that. I'll put that info in the description below uh, I forgot who this one was. I think it was Dave, David at uh, Rabbit Town Wood Arts there's supposed to be an S on there I guess that looks that so thank you uh, I got Yappy sent me two so I got him the other one up there and then this one here will get up there if I can get it off of here the rabbit don't want to come off of here well there you go all right so uh, I actually got one more uh, but I think I'm gonna squeeze out and end it Tuesday because he sent me some really cool pen blanks. I'm assuming that they were 3D, 3D printed maybe. Um, so anyways, uh, I, I was gonna do, there was supposed to be, <laughs> I was supposed to kind of collab with, with somebody else for this one, but I think I'm gonna leave him out of it um, this week. So uh, I mean, it's pretty just a plain Jane little bowl. We're not quite sure what it is. <laughs> they said mulberry, but. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I did my my pole barn in the bottom. It's a little 
it's a little too burnt. <laughs> I, I'll figure that out yet. Yeah. Uh, it was really weird. Wet, wet wood. Um, yeah. Uh, so maybe I'll leave it sit and see if it cracks a couple times. <laughs> but it's supposed to be mulberry. We thought it might might have been an osage orange or something like that. I can't. That's what we thought it might have been. Um. Yeah. So everybody that went over and uh, checked out Kim last week, thank you. I'm sure Kim appreciates it too. Uh, Kim's fault. I'm wearing these, by the way. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So she challenged us to do it. So me and a couple other guys, we'll see if they got big enough ones to do it. Um, I should explain all this. Maybe I'll do that on Tuesday and turn that really cool looking pen of like. Uh, I had a lot going on here recently. So anyways, I, I, I'll put a few pictures up, but I made really a whole lot to, it's really cool looking green. It's tight, it's really tight. Look how tight that is. Um, it's nice and smooth. I just finished it in a restoring polish. Um, yeah, it's just pretty plain Jane. Um, I just need to get it up. I had something else lined up for this specifically. But I have another one down there, and I think that we will go with that, and I'll throw him into that one then. That way he's not in all of that. I'm not sure how you feel about that. And then I also have to ask him, because I got more footage of him that he may want out here, so I gotta make sure I can use that or not use that or, or something. But either way, yep, uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. You know how it goes, and these guys, we'll put them in, 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 in the description below. Um, some of the stuff I use, I have in the description below also. Uh, the sanding sealer, the Myon sanding sealer, and some other stuff. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, uh, some pictures up and we'll see y'all next week.